Welcome back, Dovahkiin. It seems like this week has seen an incredible number of Skyrim mods being released. And in this video, I will be introducing these key mods to you one by one. First up is the interface-related mod, the Dragonborn's Bestiary. This mod adds a new user interface to the game. Now, through this interface, you can collect information about the creatures you encounter, learning about their strengths and weaknesses. When you press the K key, a menu appears where various creatures are categorized. For each creature, you can learn about its description, the potential loot you can obtain, and its strengths and weaknesses. This mod also provides add-ons for a few creatures added by other mods, such as ogres or goblins and durzogs. You can change the hotkey through the INI, and from my testing, it also works well with a gamepad. By introducing a bestiary of creatures to Skyrim, this mod will help players delve deeper into the world of Skyrim and enjoy it more. Next, I'd like to introduce a quest-related mod. First up is Ascend Hidden Peaks of Skyrim. This mod allows you to climb 10 hidden peaks in Skyrim. It aids players in becoming one with the Earth by meditating at the highest points in Skyrim. Once you reach the peak and meditate, you can gain one of three resistances to fire, frost, or shock magic which will surely stimulate your adventurous spirit. To reach the summit, the EVG Animation Traversal mod is essential, and the creator, Jay Serpa, is also hosting a contest. Detailed participation methods can be found in his description on TestNexus, so if you're interested, feel free to check it out. I have a severe fear of heights, so I'm afraid I might fall off the mountain if I fall asleep while meditating. However, I encourage all of you to take on the challenge. Next up is the Taste of Death Quest add-on. It adds a new monster. path for players who do not wish to, to become followers of Namira during the Namira quest. We're stretched thin Instead, as it is with the war. they can choose to Nobody confront Namira's followers and this. obtain Namira's Nobody ring from its previous truth. owner. This alternative approach to the Namira quest allows players to seek out Namira's worshippers and bring them to justice, enriching the gameplay experience in Skyrim. In this time, I will be introducing mods related to buildings. First up, we have the Whiterun Has Walls Redone mod. This mod is an improved version of the original Whiterun Has Walls mod, featuring more realistic walls of Whiterun, better compatibility, and an upgrade that allows you to walk on the outer walls of Whiterun. Compared to the original mod, this one offers a more realistic wall design. It's not just made of simple bricks, but a harmonious design of wood and brick. It reuses the shape of the walls from the vanilla game and builds on top of it, reducing the need for patches to adjust the wall's position. And Navmesh has been added so actors can walk on the wall. It's been quite nicely restructured, and I recommend it to you all. This mod will make the city of Whiterun feel larger, and adds more uniform and well-maintained outer walls. Next up is JK's Dark Brotherhood Sanctuaries. This mod enhances the Dark Brotherhood's Falkreath and Dawnstar Sanctuaries in Skyrim. It brings a more immersive feel to the sanctuaries of the Dark Brotherhood in Falkreath and Dawnstar. And it aligns well with the original story, making it quite lore-friendly. The frame rate seems to be quite good, and it's compatible with both Skyrim SE and AE. However, be aware that it's not compatible with other mods that remodel the Falkreath and Dawnstar Sanctuaries. If you've always been a fan of JK's mods, I believe this one will also appeal to you. I encourage you to use this mod to enhance the beauty of the sanctuaries. Next up is an animation mod called Crawling Bleedout. This motion mod provides a new animation for the bleeding event that occurs when an NPC's health is depleted. Originally, the character would kneel and clutch their stomach. But with this mod, the character will crawl after falling. If you found the vanilla animation a bit bland, this mod can offer a more varied experience. The following is a magic-related mod called Wild Waker Magic, the latest work by the creator Kitty Tail. This mod adds eight new spells to Skyrim, all themed around plants. Each spell boasts a long casting time and is quite powerful, showcasing beautiful magical effects. However, contrary to their beautiful effects, these spells primarily deal poison damage, causing sustained damage over a specific period of time. 
The spell books can be obtained from spell merchants with the appropriate skill level. The distribution of spells is done through SPID, so it would be good to refer to it when using them. This time, we're going to introduce mods related to gameplay. First up is the Object Manipulation Overhaul. This mod enhances the way items are moved in Skyrim. With this mod, you can change the position of items using a configurable key. Additionally, you can move or rotate items relative to the cursor. Not only does this mod allow you to move items, but it also enables you to move other objects that were previously immovable, and everything is configurable. Furthermore, this mod provides a simple API developed by Papyrus and SKSE developers that allows items to be selected programmatically. Next up is Real Boats in Skyrim. This mod adds actual rideable boats in Skyrim. It allows you to use boats in various bodies of water in Skyrim, such as rivers, lakes, and seas. The boat is summoned by a spell, and, aside from the animation being similar to riding a horse, the boat itself is quite impressive. The boat doesn't move on land, and only moves in water. Despite its drawbacks, if the animation and the way you acquire the boat are changed, it could become a pretty great mod. I thought it was worth introducing to you all. This time, we're looking at a visual-related mod called Draugr's New Models and Textures. This mod replaces the models and textures of the Draugr's in the game Skyrim. The mod offers versions in 4K, 2K, and 1K, and does not include an ESP allowing for installation or removal at any point during gameplay. This mod is a fantastic addition that brings more realism to the game. When you encounter Draugr's in the game, you'll be able to see their new look. Using this mod will make the world of Skyrim feel more vibrant and realistic. Finally, I'll introduce some outfit-related mods. First up is LZK Rogue. It's a black armor that gives off a bodysuit vibe. With shoulder pads and other elements, it seems to blend well with the atmosphere of Skyrim. The hood at the back and the leather straps make for an impressive outfit. If you've always liked suit-style clothing, you might find this outfit appealing. Next up is the ESO Breton Knight HDT SMP. This mod adds a suit of light armor and weapons that can be worn by both men and women. The harmonious combination of gold accessories, leather belts, and a leather coat is quite striking, and the leather coat supports physics effects. In addition, there are wooden arrows and a one-handed sword that would be great to use together. The throwing dagger accessory on the chest makes your character look quite like an assassin. If you're a fan of Elder Scrolls Online, or if you like the outfit in the video, you might want to give this mod a try. Thank you for joining us in this must-have new Skyrim mod showcase. Whether you're looking to enhance your Skyrim gameplay, elevate your visuals, or discover some hidden gems, we've got you covered. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting Skyrim content. Keep modding, and we'll see you in the next adventure. Until then, happy modding, and may your Skyrim journey be filled with endless excitement. Take care, and stay legendary.